happening guys? Mike Moo here. This video, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox and check out the ProtoArc Ergonomic Sculpted Design EM01 trackball mouse. Now, I actually have some mice that I really, really like, all right? And, uh, but here's the thing with mice, is that there's always one that's gonna be better for whatever task that it is you're doing. And if anything, being able to switch between different styles of mice and positions for your hands when you're uh, operating the computer is going to be only beneficial in many cases. Keeping it on one type of setting, one type of angle that leads to repetitive stress syndrome. And that's something that you definitely want to avoid. So uh, I was very happy to be able to find something like this uh, to go ahead and try out. So inside, uh, first I gotta say is that, um, you know, these, these guys are relatively new. This is made in China. And, you know, it's, uh, they just wanted me to test this out. Over here, I have a USB receiver. This looks like it's one of those uh, wireless receiver type of dongles. Definitely don't wanna lose this. Uh, it's gonna be very similar to something that you use from another well-known name brand. And uh, so it operates wirelessly. Over here, we have the actual ProtoArc uh, trackball. I gotta say, as I'm holding this, this definitely feels higher quality than I was expecting. This feels like uh, something that I would find in maybe a $60, $60 mouse, maybe more. Feels pretty comfortable. It's got these grooves down here that I guess help uh, it feels like it gives me a little bit of a palm massage when I have on it. That's actually a nice feeling. Thumb position's pretty good. I feel like I have somewhat average medium hands and it feels like my thumb position's really good over there. The button feel feels pretty good. It's a little bit soft, it's not clicky, so it's gonna be good in the uh, office environment. Uh, that's something I appreciate. Now here's one thing that a lot of cheap mice don't do very well and it is the mouse wheel. This mouse wheel, feels as good as a very well-known name brand, All right? This is a, this is a metallic, actually metal. Metal has a decent enough click to it. Uh, let's see, can I de-click it? I can't de-click it from pressing this button, but it's got all these other buttons that I can go ahead and use. So um, I, that's something I do appreciate. So I can't really say anything really bad about this, uh, which is something that, um, you know, I'm pleasantly surprised pleasantly surprised as I do believe this is not a very expensive mouse. Now I can see down here below, we have uh, an on off switch down here. It's just simple on and off. And then, yeah, that's pretty much about it. It's, it's not meant to move anywhere. So it has a nice rubber base on it. And that actually holds really well. Okay, so, so far I gotta say ergonomically, it feels good. Buttons feel okay. Um, the, the, I wish this could be declicked. I guess the rest of it will really depend on the software and kind of what we get out of it. I can adjust angles here too, see that? So I can go from here to here, regular mouse position or more closely at mouse position to a little bit more of an angle tilt. All right, let's see what else we got inside. We got a bit of a user manual, very simple user manual. It's all paper based, it works off of 2.4 gigahertz frequency and Bluetooth. And uh, yeah, you don't have to change batteries because you have a USB-C cable here that you go ahead and plug in to go ahead and charge up. So um, that's pretty good. Now I'm seeing that you can also, they also have mention of using the ProtoArc EM01 on iOS devices. So if you want to do that, you need iOS 13 or above uh, to go ahead and do that. Now this just goes right here in the front. And I do not know if I'll be able to operate this right away but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot anyway. So here I'm gonna just pop open my Mac. And because the wireless adapter, now I don't have to use this little wireless adapter. I like that I can also switch to Bluetooth, um, but because I am not, I have not charged this yet, obviously I took it out of the box. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in here. I'll plug this in over here and see how well that works on my Mac. All right, so immediately plugging in, there's a little red light down here that shows that it's charging. Let's see if I can use it already. Let's see, let's see. And the answer, oh, I gotta turn it on. So I switched it on. Ooh, look at that. It's 
So switch it on, it has this RGB light thing going on. Let's see if there's some software to configure that. So there are different light modes that I can go ahead and do. Apparently, light mode number one is the streamer mode. Uh, light mode number two is breathing mode, three is mixed color breathing mode, and four is neon mode. And to switch that, I just press the light button. Uh, long press light button for three seconds to turn on the effect. Now it looks like even though I have this plugged in charging, it actually doesn't operate wired wise as far as I can tell because the Mac is not registering it. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the wireless receiver. I'm gonna operate it that way. So I'm charging it, I'm giving it some power, I plugged in the receiver and voila. Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and log in and, and give this a shot here. All right, so there are a number of buttons all over this unit. Oh, I, I really like that light. It's actually nice high quality light around here. Um, it's, I feel like it's tasteful. It doesn't feel like it's overdone. You can definitely see where things are. Uh, looks like it's just cycling through some of the lights right now. And let's see, this gives me wireless indicators on here, light switch, USB connection, take out the receiver. And uh, let's see, I can switch it to 2.4 gigahertz mode. There's a button here. Press the mode switch until the white light is one, one is on and enter 2.4G mode. If I wanna do Bluetooth connection, I press the mode switch and switch to two or three. So there's these indicators down here right over here on the left hand side that you can go ahead and choose. So one is 2.4 gigahertz mode, two and three are different Bluetooth modes. So I believe since there's two and three for Bluetooth, I can connect this theoretically up to three different computers at the same time. One being the 2.4 gigahertz, which is this dongle thing that I have plugged in here. Two and three could be two other separate Bluetooth devices. And uh, yeah, I, I do appreciate that. So I can easily switch between the different ones. Now for the Mac, oh, they give you instructions for the Mac, the PC, uh, etc., on how to go ahead and pair that. And now also Android too, as well. Now to charge the whole mouse kit, it's gonna take one to three and a half hours. That's good to know. And looks like this, the whole thing only operates via wireless. So that is unfortunate because sometimes I think uh, maybe I just wanna go ahead and plug in and be ready to go. Uh, make sure you don't use this wireless dongle because I don't think that you're going to be able to find a replacement other than contacting them directly. Overall, I feel I like this. Uh, it makes sense that to move around the computer, if you have very limited desktop space, you don't have a lot of place to move around. And I feel like if you have a really good position on the on your table or with your chair, or whatever situation you have going on, it's a lot better than moving around like this. You can't tell, but as I'm sitting here right now, my shoulders are actually a little bit like this by default. And the reason why it's a little bit like this is from using the mouse all the time, ergonomically speaking, like this, because I'm reaching out and I'm using the mouse like this for whatever reason, for years I've been doing that at the desk. And that's not good, it really isn't. So that's a good case for using something like this, where you have it in the ideal spot, you don't move it around, you're kind of level, and um, you know you just use your thumb because your thumb moves around very well. And the default DPI is actually really good. I actually don't need to change anything on the Mac. Now, I don't know how it's gonna be on a PC, but I will say that this is definitely good. Now there are three different DPI ratings and settings. There's a 1000 DPI, 1600, and 2400. I don't think I'm gonna need any more than that. That's something you should know. The click life on the buttons here are up to 3 million, which is more than you wanna do anyway. And uh, yeah, that's this is really good. One thing that I don't know, and I guess the only way to really find out is in an office setting, you get a bunch of these, and you all have these 2.4 gigahertz, how many different frequencies there are in here. I guess that's something I should go and ask them. If that's gonna be an issue where you're in a cubicle environment, you guys are all sitting relatively close and uh, you know if, if there's gonna be any frequency uh, problems with that. But you can always switch to Bluetooth as long as you are allowed Bluetooth. So overall, my first impressions of this, really good. This lives up to a really premium name brand, all that, all, that we all know starts with an L. 
And the only thing that I really, really miss about this is the declicking of the wheel. I don't think there's a function uh, for that, but I can get used to this. This is going to be uh, this is going to be a pretty good travel mouse. It's it's comfortable enough. It reminds me the shape reminds me of this very other very famous brand that I used to use, uh, but they never updated their stuff. I think it's Human Scale. Yeah, Human Scale, and it feels really good in my hand. Now keep in mind, this is for right-handers. Left-handers, you are out of luck. Um, I don't believe that they actually have one that is uh, for left-handers. If there is, I have a link down below, but um, unfortunately, if you are left-handed, this is not the mouse for you. All right, that's it for this first look video. Hopefully you found this useful to you, and uh, I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. I, I have to say, this feels pretty good. Thumbs up for my first impression. If you're interested in a long-term update, please check out my, uh, my link down below and um, look for my review. Thanks for watching.